They have the power to single-handedly decide the outcome of your life. Let's make one thing clear. Growing up as a young woman of color, having no interaction with the criminal legal system, had nothing to do with my behavior and everything to do with luck. We are demanding that the next district attorney create a youth unit that will decline to prosecute youth as adults, decline to prosecute all misdemeanor school-based arrests, and arrests that were made in school for non-school incidents. My name is Kareem Bellamy. I spent 14 years in for murder that I didn't commit due to prosecution misconduct, uh, police misconduct, and um, <clears throat> I'm out here today to fight for justice and truth. In this last year, we've written and visited many survivors in this prison, persecuted for their own survival. One of them is a Queens resident, Laura Martins, who has been behind bars for 14 years for defending herself from her abusive father who threatened to kill her and her daughter. For almost three decades, Browns has said that he's going to supposedly give an end to what has been happening in Queens, but the reality is that what he has been doing is to unjustly send to jail the most vulnerable communities in Queens. We know that these policies are fundamentally racist, anti-family, anti-trans queer, anti-woman, anti-black, anti-poor, and anti-immigrant. We are proud to stand here today as we launch this movement to hold the Queens District Attorney's Office accountable to the demands of the Queens immigrant and people of color communities who have for too long been criminalized and targeted for mass incarceration. When do we want it? Now. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. If we don't get it, shut it down. Since 1991, when Richard Brown became the DA, I've seen my friends and family get railroaded in Queens Criminal Courthouse for minor crimes. I watched as prosecutors requested sky high bails, forcing people to survive on Rikers Island for months and years because they couldn't afford to pay bail before standing trial. So we asked that the new district attorney, whoever's going to be elected in this county, don't forget that everybody is a human being. When you prosecute people, you have to remember that they're humans. They're not animals. This is what community looks like! Thank you, folks.